the saga of Ham, trailblazer in space, is the story of a three-year-old chimpanzee serving the cause of science. The little chimp has been carefully selected, thoroughly examined, and patiently tutored to help mankind discover whether living creatures can survive travel in space. Under the watchful eyes of Air Force scientists, Ham is taught to perform a series of in-flight experiments. By hitting certain levers when lights flash on, the chimp earns a banana-flavored pellet as a reward. After each test and each capsule, there is a sip of water to top off the tasty prize. Ham is but one of several chimps to undergo pre-flight training. Each is outfitted from head to toe with his own spacesuit as he awaits the big day. A special chamber has been built for the little passenger, similar in detail to the capsule that will eventually transport man into space. Seven miles of wiring and 10,000 parts are shaped and stacked layer on layer in an area smaller than a telephone booth. At last, early in 1961, the pre-flight preparations are complete. At Cape Canaveral, the blue-gray space capsule is ready to take its place atop the launching rocket. The minutes are like hours as the countdown is started and follows its methodical, measured pace. Only the star of the space drama seems unconcerned at the mounting tension around him as he arrives in typical high spirits for his final checkup. Weighing 37 and a half pounds, Ham will be the largest animal yet to rocket into space and the first creature trained to respond intelligently to signals from Earth. His little chamber is to be hermetically sealed. Lying on a form-fitting couch, the frisky space traveler has been strapped in. His arms are free, and he has a plastic window to look out. In the still night, the mighty redstone rocket stands in majestic splendor, drinking in the powerful fuel that will catapult it more than 150 miles into the heavens. And then to the launching pad comes the chimpanzee. Plugged into his chamber is a control system that supplies oxygen and regulates temperature and pressure. Beside the service tower is an elevator that slowly lifts men and chamber to the top of the 83-foot rocket. The flight plan calls for the Redstone to propel the chimpanzee into space at more than 5,000 miles an hour. Atop the rocket, the chamber is placed into the spacecraft designed to withstand intense heat and tremendous pressure. From the time of insertion until the actual moment of launch, six hours later, Ham's actions and conditions are closely watched. The care and caution that mark the long months of preparation are continued to the very end. Thus, the night wears on and the time grows short. One by one, searchlights go out as man and night wait and watch and turn toward a new dawn. A dawn that is ruptured by a harsh rumble and a mighty roar. is a success. But what of little Ham? Has he survived the tremendous shock of takeoff? Is he alive? Yes, remarkable motion pictures made in flight show Ham, bottom screen, playing the game of levers and lights just as he has been trained to do. 
Reaching an altitude of 35,000 feet, the rocket's vapor trail starts to scar the sky. Here in animation, capsule and rocket separate two and a half minutes after launch. Here, the same action captured in truly amazing films. The capsule spins over. Its heat shield, designed to withstand temperatures of 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, is in a forward position. Ham is weightless in a world of zero gravity and will be for five full minutes. He appears not to be affected at all as he carries out his assigned tasks. Now the capsule's tiny control rockets turn it down toward Earth after reaching a height of 155 miles. A small parachute opens four miles above the Earth to cut the speed of descent. At two miles, a larger parachute opens. Beneath the capsule, a landing bag is inflated to cushion the final landing impact. When the capsule hits the water, the parachute is released and a sea-marking die spreads out to aid in the recovery. Eighteen minutes after launching, the space capsule with ham inside is bobbing in the waters of the Atlantic Ocean, 420 miles from Cape Canaveral. It is plucked from the water by a helicopter and airlifted toward a recovery ship that is waiting nearby. Although the chimpanzee's actual space flight lasted only 18 minutes, the capsule overshot its mark and thus delayed the recovery. And so it is three hours before the chamber is gently lowered onto the deck of the landing ship Donner. The question on everyone's mind is, how did he take it? And implied in that question is still another. How in the future will man take it? And so, anxiously, impatiently, hopefully, Technicians and medical personnel work feverishly to free the amazing creature who has just completed this giant leap into space. They can see him now, but still the plastic cover of the chamber must be removed. Ham has done it. He is safe and well, a hero of space, happy to be back among friends. Completely contented chimp, he has moved man closer than ever before to his age-old dream of traveling the heavens. Shaking hands all around, he is true to his nickname, Ham, a happy show-off. A story that began on desert sands ends on distant seas. Ham the chimp has journeyed fast and far on Earth and in space, showing the way for man to follow, earning the title of Trailblazer in Space. <laughs>